What's up guys? So I am getting ready to go camping, but I have to somehow figure out how to reassemble my camper shell in my truck on my own. I was supposed to have somebody here to help me. So basically I have to figure out how I can pick up my shell and put it on my bed by myself. Um, everything else I can pretty much get. The wood with the flooring is pretty difficult to get on my own too. Um, but I'm going to start with this and kind of see how it turns out. Okay. So I did get the shell on. I hope that, uh, or actually I wish that I had filmed that because it was ridiculous trying to have me do it um, by myself. It just would have looked funny on camera. Um, but basically what the way that I did it was I actually crawled inside the shell and then I just got under it and I just ugh, picked it up and threw it on there. But it definitely took a lot of rest. Okay, so I got everything clamped down and now I'm ready to put in the frame. So I got the frame in. That's the easiest part probably for me to lift in there by myself besides the equipment. Um, this was my first time ever building something like this and there's some improvements that I wanna make. Um, I can definitely save a couple inches of headroom by lowering the frame just a little bit and still being able to fit all of my equipment and gear. Um, and I built this with the intention of being able to take my wife with me and go camping and both of us could sleep in there. But she doesn't really seem all that interested in it. So what I may do is actually lower the frame and then take it down to where only I fit on it. And then I have the other side kind of to build a box in or some storage or something like that. So this part, the flooring part, I'm actually more worried about being able to get in there by myself than I was getting the shell itself on top. This thing is actually pretty heavy with these floors on here. It probably weighs about 150, 200 pounds or so. So uh, let's see how this goes. I have everything glued down. So basically what I did is I just took it and I rested it up here. And then I'm gonna pick it up from this end at the bottom and be able to hopefully just slide it in smooth. So now that I have this in here, all I need to do is put the matting on and then slide my equipment underneath and I am ready to go camp. So I'm pretty much ready to go as you guys can see. Um, there's a couple last minute things that I'm gonna do. Um, but overall, just to build out my camper shell again with everything that I have and doing it by myself only took me about 40 minutes. So I've got everything in here. Everything is all set up and good to go. All my equipment underneath and sleeping bag, of course, it's going to get cold tonight. In order to combat the cold, I did get this little buddy. Um, I definitely think that it's going to warm this space really, really fast. But before I use this tonight, I'm going to crack into it and open it and take a look at it now. Um, but before I actually use this tonight, I'm going to try to see if I can just use tea lights. So I'm going to use cans. I'm going to put these tea lights in little cans and kind of set them up and see if I can just use tea lights, if that will keep it warm enough in this space for me to be able to sleep. These, when you light them, should last about three hours. So if I light, you know, maybe this row before I go to bed, I think it'll keep it warm enough in there for me to fall asleep and stay asleep. So I'm on my way to Chama, but I wanted to show you guys something that my city is actually kind of famous for, and it's our balloon fiesta. So right now, all these balloons are kind of up in the sky. And this is just a really cool sight for me to drive out to, you know? I'm hitting, going camping, but it's always really, really nice and cool to see all these balloons up. So I had to stop for gas. I'm about probably about a hundred miles away from where I'm going. Um, but yeah, my truck is running fine. This is the longest trip probably that I've taken my truck on in a really long time. Um, so I was a little bit worried about that, but yeah, not having any issues there at all. And then I stopped in at this gas station and uh, I found this Black Rifle Coffee Company coffee. Um, so I'm gonna give that a shot. I've never had that before. Um, but yeah, my, my adventurous side in like what I want to accomplish by having this camper shell and going camping and doing all these things is, is getting fulfilled for sure. So I'm trying a bunch of new things and I'm going to do, do a bunch of cool stuff. Um, that's the goal. It'd be cool if I could eventually get like this YouTube channel built out to where I could just do this. It would be amazing. That would be like the ultimate dream and would make me really happy, but for now, uh, do what I can and have fun doing it, and I will see you guys when I get there.
Yeah, let me get uh, two sausage biscuits and two hash browns, please. Oh, give me a seat. Thank you. Oh, he's pissed. What's up guys? So I have found the spot that I'm going to be staying tonight. So it's right off of this little trail. Um, and it is awesome. As you can see the view behind me, I'll get it. I'll get a little bit better views right here. Um, but this spot is super, super cool. Um, it's pretty secluded. I'm going to be out here kind of by myself. Um, you know, so my first kind of real solo camping experience out of the shell, but this is going to be it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really, really nice. And I cannot wait to wake up to that. So this is the view sitting from my tailgate. This is what I'm going to be looking out on all night. And this is what I'm going to be looking out on in the morning. And you kind of come down here. Um, I can't go much further than this because then you see the hill dropping down. But the view of the water right there is just absolutely perfect. It does look like there might be some rain, so I do think that I might set up my tarp and everything over the truck um, just to make sure that I stay as dry. Yeah, I'm super excited to be out here, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting up now. So I got everything set up. Um, it basically, it's a real quick and easy setup now that I have the camper shell and everything. Basically, though, what I did is I just made sure that I tarped, tarped everything down and... I put the tarp over my truck for two things. One is I don't want the windows on my shell to leak. And also there's a spot right here um, and this glass is missing. So I wanna be able to keep any moisture out of there. Um, I also think that the tarp might help for a little bit of heat retention because like I said tonight, I have the little buddy that, I'm, that I can use uh, propane with, which will heat this space adequately. Um, and I won't have to worry, but I'm going to try cutting the tops off of these cans. I'm just going to cut the tops off and I'm going to drop tea lights in them. And I'm going to see if that will suffice just because I'm curious, right? I have the little buddy as a backup, but I'm just curious if, if something like this would suffice in order for me to be able to sleep in here and be comfortable. And I'm also hoping that having a flame like this might pull a little bit of moisture out of the air because I don't, I don't like getting condensation inside and getting anything wet. So if I can keep all the condensation off, you know, that's, that's better. But I have, you know, several layers of clothes. I have a big jacket and I have my sleeping bag. I should be warm enough. At least I hope I'm warm enough tonight. So I'm going to hike back to where the rest of my family is actually staying. And then I'll be back out here tonight um, to give this a shot. Um, it does seem like a little bit of weather is rolling in. So I don't know. I don't know how fast I'm going to have to try to get back here, but we'll see. We'll find it out. You can't beat this. Like being out here just gives you like such a different perspective. It's so crazy like how much this slows me down and kind of like it makes me feel better to be out here like this. Um so it's just really nice and I'm glad that I get the opportunity to share it with you guys. I hope one day that that I can do this all the time. Um, but man, I can't like this view behind me. How do you guys beat that? How do you beat that? I have no idea. I don't think that you can. It's awesome. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just taking a box cutter and I'm cutting the top off of these cans. I have about four cans that I got from my family today. 
and I'm cutting the tops off of them. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to work on this off camera because it's going to take me forever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tops off. And then later tonight when it starts to get cold or wet, um, because like it, it gets a lot of condensation builds up. Um, and I don't, I just don't like that. And so if I can alleviate that with a flame, cause this will suck some moisture out of the air and in my shell, there's not very much room. So I'm going to kind of just, the plan is to just drop these in here and then put them around. I might even like take some, uh, I have some mounting tape and I might even mount these just to the windows um and see if that'll work and and i think that later on tonight that'll help keep it uh keep it warmer and then it'll also cut down on the amount of condensation that i get inside of the camper shell itself as the sun is setting the view right here just keeps getting better and better um, i'm also starting to hear some sounds of wildlife and things like that but i mean look at how amazing that looks right there so it's dark enough now that I'm pretty much in for the night. This is the view uh, looking out of my rear windshield here on the camper shell. But one of the things that I did in here is bleh, I hung up these lights and I kind of put them all the way around. And what I really like about them is they come with this little remote. You can actually change the color. If you want them red, you want them green, you want them blue. And then there's even different shades of blue and purple. So the red's pretty cool. I think my favorite might be the green. Yeah, I think my favorite might be the green. That provides quite a bit of light in here though. Um, I didn't bring anything today. So I didn't bring anything today like uh, movies or anything like that, anything that I could watch. Um, basically, I'm just uh, editing this video right now because I do everything from my phone. So. It's convenient in the sense that I can edit and do everything from my phone. Um, it sucks because like I don't have a laptop or anything, so I, I really need to get that stuff if I'm going to take YouTube seriously. But basically for a little bit tonight, I'm going to be um, editing from my phone. Right now it's super comfortable in here. I'm not cold at all. Um, I do have, of course, my big jacket. I have my hoodie. And then I have jeans on underneath my sweats. So I... I think that I should be pretty warm tonight just with that. I'm not even under the sleeping bag yet. Um, but I do know it's going to get really cold here, um, at least relatively. Um, so I think last night the low here was about 27 degrees. It should drop below freezing tonight. Um, I am hearing tons and tons of elk or deer, um, whatever the, those calls that I'm hearing are. I'm not that well versed in the the outdoors life but i i saw some tracks today that were either elk or deer and i'm hearing them kind of all around and i'm kind of hoping that i get the chance to see some so i'll keep an eye out for them while i'm sitting here and, and editing my video um but this might be the no this won't be the last thing that i film because if i get too cold tonight i'm gonna light those candles um i did put i did put these up with mounting tape so I put a couple, that one's way off. <laughs> um, I put a few cans around with the mounting tape and I'll light those candles here if I get cold. And here in a few hours, it's it's only about uh, eight o'clock right now, um, 8.30 maybe. And so here, probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock, whenever I'm done working on editing my video for the night, I might light those candles right before I go to bed. Um, just to help, like I said, keep some of the moisture out and I want to see how they work too. So I'll show you guys that. So right now I just have those two, uh, candles on the window, the back window lit, and they're actually doing a pretty good job of warming up this space. Surprisingly. Um, I haven't had to light the other two that are on the other windows yet. And I don't know if I will, I don't know if it's going to get cold enough tonight that I have to do that, but I'm going to let these burn um, and I am going to sleep. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. Um, it's about 6 a.m. Uh, usually about the time I get up. I usually get up about 530. The sun's not up yet, so I'm going to wait uh, for the sun to get up. Um, it rained a little bit last night. Tarp did its thing. I didn't feel any kind of moisture get in. Um, 
it got cold probably around i think i woke up at about three and all my little tea light candles had gone out and at that point i had to actually get under the sleeping bag but until that point until you know three o'clock i was actually on top of the sleeping bag because it was that warm in here and these little candles in the coke cans did exactly exactly what i wanted them to do they kept it warm enough in here to sleep it was comfortable of course i'm bundled up and everything but it was pretty comfortable so um i think i had to light new rounds of those tea light candles like three times throughout the night but i don't know if you can tell on camera um the window is cold but it's dry and that is something when i went last time like the windows build up a lot of condensation in here so um i think having the candle on it with that little can it helped keep the windows dry so there's a lot less condensation um and so that's really really cool that worked out really i mean that worked out incredibly well i'm super stoked on how that happened i want to find something better than this so if you guys have a suggestion leave it in the comments below and let me know but yeah i'm gonna let the sun come up a little bit uh, get some shots of the sunrise because i'm sure it's gonna be beautiful um last night it was i don't know it was an elk or something came right by right by my truck and then did its little call like its noise it woke me up scared the shit out of me um until i realized what it was just an elk or whatever but it was i mean it was right by my truck like it it saw my truck and probably got spooked and made its little call and then it spooked me and i was like oh oh no um but um it was cool i didn't see it but definitely um i heard it it's too dark in here i can't look out so but yeah I'm just waking up guys so i'm still in bed but i popped the back glass open and this is what i'm waking up to this morning it doesn't quite translate as well on camera but it's awesome and then out here i'm going to be quiet for a little bit but you can hear all the wildlife and it's awesome So this is where my family was staying. It's called the Stone House Lodge. Um, it's just outside of Chama, New Mexico. Um, and there's a couple little cabins and a boat rental place right on the lake there. Um, so they had a little cabin. I decided to go. I found this off-road trail and I went down and, and found the little spot that I wanted to be in. Um, but yeah, this is where it's at. If you guys want to come find that view, go ahead. Other than that, I think that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. You guys want to see more camping. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. Peace, guys.